Hey, it's me, Raj Baden here for ZTV UK, Leica Radio 1458 and BizAsiaLive.com. Um, as you know, there's a brand new show that's uh, started just a few weeks ago on ZTV UK. It's a bit of a mouthful, so I will get Geso to help me, or that's Navika <laughs> who joins me. It's Kyuki Sas Ma Bahu. I want you to try and finish it. Ma Bahu, Bahu, Betty. Okay. You're almost there. Hoti Yay! Yeah. <laughs> He's got it. I'm sure you can get it too. Well, you know, honestly, welcome. Because uh, I know the you. show uh, has just started. It's doing really well. Um, how has it been for you? Well, it's been amazing. Uh, it's been a few months where we've started shooting for it. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how long you've been watching the show. Uh, but I love the part where the story is so quick, it's so pacey. And uh, with that, even the characters have evolved so much. If I compare Kesar to what she was on day one versus what she is today. Yeah. So in just uh, a short, short, such a short span of time, there's a huge graph not with just my character but all the characters in the entire storyline so that keeps the show really interesting and I'm sure whatever you're gonna watch ahead is also going to be really you know it's gonna keep a hold of you it's uh, completely dramatic and the good thing about it is that like you said it's fast moving but we can't forget um, the pivotal role uh, Mansi uh, Mansi G who is part of the show how has it been working with her Oh, it's a wonderful experience. Almost every day I tell her that I'm really grateful that we both got to do the part uh, and that I got her as my co-star because she is a sweetheart. She is like a gal pal for me now and we really bond really well on set. Plus, of course, she's a senior actor and there's so much that I learned from her. Apart from on the love and pampering, there's also a lot that she teaches me on set as an actor. Um, just for anyone who doesn't know what's been happening in the show, just tell us because it's a social subject it's a subject that obviously uh, not been dealt with on Indian television before how would you describe it? Not only really in Indian on Indian television, but also in real life. You don't really come across uh, a lady who will adopt her own daughter-in-law. Yeah. It's not something that we see uh, in our daily lives. But that is the whole concept that it shouldn't be that big of a deal. That a daughter-in-law should not be any different than your own daughter. Uh, the way you treat her, the way you raise your daughter, and the expectations you have from your daughter-in-law should almost be the same. Uh, that is what the main concept of the show is and uh, it's really balanced really well. There are many scenes where uh, Manasi ma'am, who's playing Ambika, uh, talks to Kesar like her mother and in some scenes she's teaching her or expecting things from her like a mother-in-law. So there are those differences but yet you were trying to show that they're same. It's really complicated because life uh, is not the same always but that's what makes it so interesting to watch because it's such a unique rishta, you know, that she's my masu, she's my ma and my sasu. Absolutely. Um, the, the way that Indian television has evolved over the recent months, uh, especially after COVID, um, and tackling with such subjects has been quite an eye-opener. What's your take on the, the way that Indian television is moving? I love how we are so content driven now um, and you know even though when you hear the name you might think that this show is like every other Saas Bahu drama that you always see on TV but it is not that because there is no drama between the Saas and Bahu. There is drama around them but they both have a very loving relation which we us we we never used to see that in the olden days on TV. They used to always quarrel yeah. you know uh, but here we are showing a very loving relation and there are different shows with different stories um, and you know ITV is really progressive nowadays which is good and I hope with time it just gets better of course you move from films to TV how's that been for you well I actually started as a really small kid I started when I was seven eight years old so I did TV then I moved to films and then I, I've also done ads then I did web and then I'm back on TV so for me uh, of course the uh, format changes so then the method of shooting changes the method of acting changes but um, that's what I love about it because uh, I'm open to working on all types of platforms and that's why I'm ready to do all types of roles and all types of acting and I just feel that it's going to help me you know uh, improve my skill set as much as I can so for me the platform doesn't really matter it's the story the character and the concept that is first and fantastic then the greatly said love that um okay let's talk, talk about the viewers in London have you been to London yourself no, I haven't been to UK, but I would love to because now that I've grown up, a lot of my friends have shifted there. They're studying or working there. So I would love to go to UK to visit them. 
Okay. Uh, what would you like to say to the fans that are watching globally, uh, especially the UK viewers? Well, I'm sure that this is something really new and I really hope that you fall in love with the Rajgore family, with my Masu, with me, Kesar, and the lovely uh, couple that we have on screen, which is called Kesbir, which is uh, Kabir and Kesar, and of course the villain, Suraj. He's He's a really smart guy. There's a lot more uh, in the story apart from these four characters and the concept is of course very fresh. So I hope you all watch it and you have your own personal take on what you feel about this unique Rishta and I hope you also join with this Rishta. Thank you so much for your time. Wish you all the best with Kyuki Saas Maha Bahu Betty Hoti. Yeah? yeah? And uh, I'm sure it's going to do even better than what it is doing right now and I know it's just started. Uh, so there's a long future ahead. Wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.